This concept could truly revolutionize the entire planet. I mean, it's so simple, using a gravity battery to just keep on going without ever, ever needing to charge, don't even need electricity. And it's very real. There's no reason we couldn't utilize this same idea with electric cars, electric trucks, electric pretty much anything. As long as you're starting from a higher position and going to a lower position with more weight, which happens every single day in every city on the planet, then utilizing this incredibly simple concept that one of the world's biggest mining companies is putting into practice could save the planet. Literally billions of liters of fossil fuels. Literally billions of tons of fossil fuels. Imagine owning a mining company and you could transport stuff nearly free. Not entirely free, but pretty, pretty damn close. Well, that could be the future, at least for some companies. One mining company who say that they are all in on renewables and green energy and they're actually building out massive solar farms and electrifying all of their mining equipment. I mean, like massive mining machines. We're talking bigger than houses that are powered by batteries. They have developed this electric train. They say it never needs to be recharged, never needs fuel. It just goes forever. Sounds like a myth, sounds ridiculous, but actually this is Fortescue, one of the biggest mining companies in the world. And this is in fact a true story. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and I've got a bit of a warning here, guys. I repeatedly get sent false information, and I meet some of you, and you've been unfortunately watching YouTube channels that are spreading false information. Very easy to get caught up because there is so much of it on YouTube now. There, there's so many people that are just talking complete bullshit, making stories up. Oh, have you seen this stuff? Like Elon Musk's new water-powered cars are going to destroy the electric car industry and millions of views to these sorts of ridiculous videos. And unfortunately, some people do get sucked into this and they start to believe it. This is not one of those channels. Fortescue, Infinity, their Infinity train never needs fuel, never needs to be recharged, but it's not quite completely accurate. Now, Fortescue has taken the wraps off a prototype of its Infinity train electric locomotive or electric train. It did. It took, in fact, for this to happen, it traveled 1,100 kilometers, 685 miles from Perth to the Pilbara, which is a mining town. And that marked an enormous milestone for the company. Co-developed with the locomotive experts at Downer Group, Fortescue revealed its concept for a battery electric infinity train in March of 2022. At the time, the company proposed a world first iron ore train capable of fully charging its batteries through regen braking. I love regen braking. I don't know how people can drive without it. It's just so awesome when you don't have to, you don't have to think to yourself, I'm braking again, I'm wasting money again. You're braking, you're putting power back into your battery. The two companies claimed the clever technology would create a self-sustaining zero emission rail system powered entirely by the force of gravity during the train's loaded downhill travels. And that's the key phrase, right? Because they're loading the train at a higher point with all this weight, all that weight is putting a ton of friction into those regen brakes as the train actually goes downhill to get to its destination. And that is how they're charging the battery. It's almost like two batteries in one, the coal or the iron ore is, is acting as kind of a gravity battery. The concept this week went from drawing board to the real world, completing a 1,100 kilometer trip across Australia and proving itself um, that it's up to the task of actually doing what it says it does. It's not fake. And it can work in the industry and actually deliver stuff. We're thrilled to see our battery electric locomotive prototype arrive in the Pilbara, said Ali Coates, CEO of Fortescue Zero. She added that the achievement using zero fossil fuels represents a major step in Fortescue's journey to real zero. Now, guys, I should point out, this is the company that was all in on hydrogen a few years ago. About five years ago, they were just all in. They were going to invest billions into hydrogen. Then they went, hang on a minute, this doesn't make sense. This is actually kind of stupid. Changed their minds and went all in on electrification. 
The Fortescue Infinity train uses the energy produced by slowing the loaded train on downhill sections of the company's 385 mile private heavy haul rail network to recharge its battery system. That energy is enough to bring the unloaded train back to the mine, completely eliminating the need for actual external recharging infrastructure or additional renewable or additional renewable energy sources, making the train entirely self-sufficient. Well, nearly anyway. Fortescue says the deployment of the Infinity Train of the Infinity Train concept at its mines will eliminate more than 82 million liters of diesel fuel consumption, about 21 million gallons, which well. That's 235,200 tons of CO2 emissions. But I mean, that's that's probably every year. Imagine you've got a couple of these. Imagine the world had hundreds of these trains and it would be possible. That change will eliminate around 11% of scope one emissions from the Fortescue company just by doing that. Putting it on its way to achieve real zero emissions free operations. Now Fortescue, they're planning on real zero emissions operations, and they're 100% committed to that. They have one megawatt trucks, one megawatt um, machinery in their mines. It's pretty, in fact, they're working on three megawatt charging right now, three megawatt charging. In addition to that, they have enormous resources of renewable energy. They have their own microgrids with solar farms and huge batteries supplying them with the energy they need to run a lot of their mines. Using gravity to charge charge up heavy trains, covering stuff. This actually is an idea that has been put in practice previously. And as long as the, basically the topography, you know, is higher at one place and you have to go to a place that's lower, this makes a lot of sense. Now, here's the thing, guys. This concept should not just apply to the mining industry, to companies that are putting, uh, heavy stuff into trains. Why couldn't it apply to the transportation? Why not apply to the thousands of trains around the world, right? They're going downhill sometimes, right? I mean, essentially probably 40% of the time they're going downhill. I'm going to guess approximately that's a lot of energy to recover. And the other thing is often they're full of passengers, stuff even. I mean, there's a lot of trains around the world that don't just carry people, they carry heavy stuff. I don't see why this concept couldn't work in every country, especially in some countries. I mean, especially on routes where, you know, you're picking up all these passengers or all this stock or something or other from a higher point. It doesn't have to be that much higher either. It could just be say 1000 meters elevation or 3000 feet going down to sea level. That's how, that's a situation we see everywhere. I mean, in many countries around the world, imagine imagine the energy use we could save by taking advantage of this concept. It's really simple, but really quite revolutionary. Free transportation, just by being smart. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.